Busho again, and today I'm going to show you how to deep pin a connector. If the contacts on the old connector are good and the plastic portion of the old connector is broken, this method is a lot quicker than cutting the old connector off and crimping or soldering in a replacement pigtail connector. The exact process varies from connector to connector, but once you've done a couple, you basically get an idea of what to do. First you look at the back of the connector. This one has a plastic retainer. It's retained by two tabs, one here, one here. So I'm going to get a small screwdriver, fry it out. Taking note of where it goes, the open end faces towards the clip. Pop it off the wires. Now most connectors do this in a similar way. The terminals, which are here and here, are pressed in from behind and they clip in. The clips are usually little metal clips on the terminals themselves or little plastic clips inside the connector. And here, you could clearly see the plastic clips. There's one on the right hand side here and one on the left hand side there. So what you want to do is get a tiny screwdriver and get it between that clip and the connector and pry it out that way for this side and that way for that side. And while doing that, pull with the other hand on the wire. And when that clip releases, you'll be able to pull the wires out the back. So while applying tension with one hand, get behind that clip, and out it comes. That's one. Same with the other one, applying attention with my thumb, I'm pulling back on the wire. And two. And now we just have to repeat the same process with the other connector and swap it over onto these terminals. critical that you put the wires in the same place on the new harness so be sure to take note with the squeeze tab facing up, black on the left, red on the right. That's one. The trick is to press down real hard where the clip meets the terminal to dig into it and push out while pulling down on the wire. And there it goes. Here's the clips I was talking about earlier. You can see them on the left and the right. You notice there's just a little nub sticking up. That's what you have to grab with your screwdriver. You have to get between that and the connector, push it off to the side, and pull the terminals out the back. Now it's critical you get the wires in the connector properly. You don't want to reverse them by accident. You want to make sure the side of the terminal with these two spikes here is facing towards the clip in the connector. So, squeeze tab facing up, black on the left, red on the right. And installing it is a heck of a lot easier than removing it, just Insert it until it clicks. And reinstall the plastic retainer clip on the back. This clip's here just to add a bit of extra security in case those tabs were to snap, it would prevent the terminals from pulling out. Reinstall this retainer here. You want the recessed square facing up, and this end here, line with the cutout in the connector. Put 
Press in one end first, and press in the other. Here's another example. First, remove this plastic retainer here. Get a screwdriver in there and just pry it out. Now inside, you could clearly see those three tabs. One, two, three. While pulling back on the wires with your other hand, pry up on those tabs with a flathead screwdriver. Another critical thing to remember is the orientation of the wires. So with this notch facing up, I have a black, a brown, and a white. So I'm pulling back on the wire. That's one wire, I just felt it come out. That's two. And that's three. Then pull the wires out the back of the connector. You don't need to remove this plastic piece. I don't remove it because it's glued onto the connector and if I pull it off now, I'll have to glue it back on later. Just pull and wiggle. That's one, two, and three. Now repeat the same process on your pigtail connector. Remove the wires from the connector. After the retainer's out and the tabs are released, you can just pull the wires out of the back of the connector. Now that's the easy part. Put the connector in the same orientation. In my case, that's with the notch facing up. And reinsert the terminals into the connector until they click. That's one. You want the flat side of the terminal facing the left with the tab facing up. They'll only go in one way. click. It means it's in there right. And insert the final terminal in there again with the flat side towards the left with the tab facing up. It won't insert fully if you put it in the wrong way. And that one's locked in. Then reinstall the retainer. And you're done. Remember, this is strictly to replace physically damaged connectors. If the terminals are damaged or corroded, they can make poor contact, which can cause the connector to melt due to high resistance. If the terminals are bad, the old connector must be cut off and replaced with the appropriate pigtail connector.